Okay, this video is going to be a little bit lengthy. I'll do my best to keep this as short and to the point. Um, your psoas is a very important muscle through the torso and then the hip. And oftentimes it needs released. I would encourage you not to do this unless this uh, video has been prescribed uh, to you by Jim or myself. Um, if you're investigating it, you know, go for it. This does come from uh, trigger point performance and it's a good technique. So we need to identify some landmarks on the body to do this exercise correctly. So you want to find your hip bone and then you want to find your navel. You can use a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball and you're gonna take that tennis ball or lacrosse ball and you're going to use the reference of the hip bone and the navel to find the center, keeping the ball at a basically the same horizontal level of the hip bone. So from here, I'm going to take my yoga block and I'm going to lay on the ball with the yoga block. I'm going to straighten out both legs and from here I'm going to drape over the yoga block and diaphragmatically breathe. For the sake of the video I'm keeping myself up here so you can hear what I'm saying. You're going to need to diaphragmatically breathe. In other words, do some belly breathing and relax and let the ball penetrate through the abdominal wall so that you start to feel the pressure in on the psoas. You may need to experiment and take some time with this so that you're getting a productive response from it. What I mean by that is you might need to reposition and move around, but also be mindful if you're getting some irritation, some nauseousness, or maybe some nerve tingling, you need to back off and then consult with Jim or myself or a healthcare professional um, make sure you're not irritating some things. Once you've uh, laid down on the ball and you've gotten your release, you're going to do 10 cobra extensions. And what I like to do is as I do my cobra extensions, drive my elbows down, kind of dragging myself forward. After I've done that 10 times, I'll produce 10 leg pulses. That's how you're going to release your psoas. If you have any questions with this specific one, please get with your coach or your trainer. Make sure you're doing it correctly.